<laughs> um, I think I'm not the lightest athlete in the field. Ah, yeah, um, the bike, of course, it's all about the bike. I think um, if I have an account for my bikes, I would definitely get more likes and more followers than me, that's for sure. Most of the times they are also more beautiful than me. This time, according to a lot of people, that's not the case. Especially the nose area looks quite strange, like really long nose. <laughs> um, it's because we removed the, the front drink system um, uh, for this race as well as the, as the box. Film over here please, the box, this one. Because it's actually quite heavy and um, we also needed to uh, create some space for the top tube bottle. Um, in this bottle I carry my nutrition pretty much. It's um, quite handy, um, it's close to to the mouse so it's easy to feed and I have a normal bottle cage not an aero bottle cage which is easier <coughs> I think on this course um, because they have no normal uh, no no normal bottles but just like this um, plastic water bottle so it's easier to replace the water bottles and um, also on this course I think um, you have the option to do some um, do some compromises regarding aerodynamic um, because we have quite a lot of climbing but then on the other hand today I wrote the course and I think I uh, tried to clock um, all the segments where I'm able to ride on the aero bar and that's almost an, an hour in total um, aero bar time so and I would say every time when you're in the aero bar um, a TT bike is faster than a road bike so I'm pretty sure the TT bike is faster than the road bike on this course Especially uh, for, for me, I mean, there's always this great um, uh, debate with weight versus aerodynamic, but at the end um, you can sum it up and say a very light rider would probably benefit more from even bigger white weight savings, especially on the bike. Of course, when you have a uh, hundred kilograms of system weight and the guy saves one kilo of the bike, it's just yeah, 1%. If you have a super light, super, super light rider with um, 50 kilos, um, saves one kilo of the bike, it's 2%. So it's actually um, yeah, um, a way bigger, bigger impact if you're lighter and save some weight. And um, if you're stronger, you definitely profit from a better aerodynamic more because you are faster on the, on the fast segments and um, because you need double the amount of power uh, eight times the amount of power for double the, the um, speed. Aerodynamic plays a big, really big role there, so we try not to compromise aerodynamic too much, but then make the TT bike as light as possible. Therefore, some really special things about this bike is there's no paint on it. Don't do this at home, please, because you're not only losing warranty, but it's actually a, a fucking hell of a job. I didn't have to do it myself, luckily. <laughs> um, but I, I stripped one frame by myself and it really takes a long time and it's actually not that easy. It also can be really unhealthy because um, when you start to inhale some of those uh, carbon fibers, it's not very healthy, trust me. Um, so therefore, please don't, don't do it or let it um, <laughs> do somebody who's, who knows what he's doing. And we saved 150 grams or 160 grams of um, paint on this this frame. Um, other than that, there is a very special construction for the seat post. So basically, uh, um, the whole head of the seat post, the, the the clamp is cut off and it's laminated directly onto the saddle, which also saves like 120, 140 grams. Um, just about that. Then I will ride a one by system with a 50 um, tooth strain ring in the front and a 10 um, 33 cassette in the back. That saves weight, is um, beneficial for the aerodynamic of course, but of course a lot of people will be concerned about the friction. Um, as some of you know, the narrow the um, 
yeah the the chain has to turn basically around the around the cassette the more friction you cause but on this course you actually climb most of the times in the 28 um, so the chain line is pretty good and you have a 50 uh, um, tooth front chain ring so there's a lot of um, it's a lot of um, space um, so therefore it's a pretty low friction other than that, I will go with 858 uh, zip wheels on this course. I think it's a really good um, yeah, compromise between aerodynamic weight and um, the braking is pretty good with these wheels. They're really stiff. Handling wise, it's uh, really nice. And um, then I got some really nice new Schwalbe tires. Um, so it's tubeless and um, they're around 220 grams each and um, have a little bit of a special construction especially for this race um, so it's a it's a um, um, triple compound so the shoulders of the tire are definitely a little bit uh, grippier especially for this course that's really nice to have a little bit of extra grip but the center is um, a little bit of more um, a harder compound so therefore rolling resistance is pretty good other than that, I have um, special extensions made just for, for me, um, so they fit my forearm absolutely perfect. And uh, that's really nice, it's not only because of aerodynamics, there's like no um, yeah, um, more tur turbulences between the extensions and the arms, but they're also a little bit lighter than the ones I was riding in Frankfurt. And, um, yeah, it's just super nice to, to handle in the, um, in the downhills because in those downhills you actually spend quite some time in the, uh, in the aero bars. Um, it's not a real downhill actually. <laughs> you have to pedal a lot um, in these downhills. Other than that, of course, all screws are either titanium or aluminium. Um, I have some really special race day only speed play pedals with um, aluminium um, surface plates which saves another I don't know 10 grams or something like that um, yes I think um, that's pretty much it about the, the bike any questions seven point six four and the total savings are 2.4 kilograms. <laughs>